In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the uh, processor expert components for digital output. So what we're going to do in your freedom board is we're going to turn on each of the uh, LEDs, the uh, red LED, green LED, and the blue LED. So the first thing you need to do is begin a new MQX Lite project. So go to File, New, MQX Lite Project. Give it a project name that you want. And let's go ahead and choose the uh, microcontroller that our freedom board has. And I'm using Open SEA for my debugger. So I'm selecting Open SEA. I don't want any input or output for my IO support. Okay, so our project files have been generated. Let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, schematic for the RGB LED component. So if you go to your freedom board schematic, you're going to find the uh, RGB component. So this is our red LED, green LED, and blue LED. Notice that all the three LEDs are connected to 3.3 volts on the anode. And the cathodes are connected to pins of the microcontroller. So right now the uh, blue LED is turned on on my board. Let's say that we want to turn on the red LED. That means that uh, we need to control this pin and we need to give it a value of zero. So that we have the LED connected to 3.3 volts on this side and ground or a lower voltage on the other side. So the pin that we're looking for is PTV18. So if you do a if you copy that and do a find on the schematic. So this is my microcontroller component. And notice that PTV18. So that's this pin right here. And of course it has other peripherals that you can use. So that is where the other side of the, L the uh, red LED is connected to. So now that we know it's PTV18, let's go back to the uh, Code Warrior IDE. So what we want to do is we want to go to our components library and if your components uh, view is not available for whatever reason you can go to processor expert show views. So go ahead and select your components library tab and you can go to board support and you can see that uh, they're in the freedom board components. There's already three components that you can use, so you could just import each of these components into your project and just generate the code and run the program, but uh, that doesn't really teach you anything. Let me go ahead and show you how these components were actually made. So let's go to logical device drivers. Port IO, double click on the bit IO component so that it's added to your project. So notice that that was added here. I want to go ahead and double click on this component and get. And now for the uh, pin for IO, you want to select PTB18. So if you click once and type PTB18 and go ahead and select this value 
you notice this is the same value that was in our data sheet for uh, PTB team when I did a find on the schematic the direction since this is an LED we just wanted a we just want an output we want the initial value to be zero so that's going to turn the LED on because if you remember the uh, Panel of the LED is already connected to 3.3 volts. So on your pin side, which is the cathode side of the LED, you want the value to be zero if you want your LED on. And you want to auto initialize it. Go ahead and click the generate processor expert code button. Go ahead and build your code. Once your project is built, we're going to go ahead and write the program to the flash. So click this arrow here, flash file to target. Uh, if this is not selected, you can go ahead and browse for it. So that's that's what you would do if, that would, if uh, you didn't have a value in that field. And go ahead and type any name for the task or anything you want. Erase and program. Okay. Once you get this uh, program command succeeded message, go ahead and reset your board by pressing the reset button. And notice that the LED the red LED turned on. So what if we wanted to turn on any of the other LEDs, let's say the green one. Let's go back to our schematic. So the green LED is connected to PTV 19. So you're gonna go ahead and change that in your components pin for IO, but uh, before we go ahead and do that, Notice that my blue LED is connected to D13. Now you're not going to be able to find that value in your pin for I.O. So if we do a search for D13, so we go to our microcontroller. Notice that uh, that's actually PTD1. So this is the value that you would search for in your pin for IO components window if you wanted to turn on that uh, the green, I mean the uh, blue LED. So in other words, don't uh, don't look at what, what says here. Look at the actual port that's in your microcontroller, which is right next to the schematic for your RGB LED. So that would be the uh, blue LED, and that's the LED we have on right. Uh, this is the LED we have on right now, which is the red, and this is the blue. So that's PTB19. So let's go back to our components window. So once again, I'm going to click the uh, bit one component and now change my pin for IO value to PTV19. And all the values stay the same because it's the same circuit for that LED. Click generate code. Click build all or just uh, build. And let's go ahead and use the same flash configuration that we used before. So we get the program command succeeded and now we can reset our board. That's it for this video. Don't forget to like it, subscribe and thank you for watching.